Welcome back everybody, it's The Dominator. And first things first, I wanna give a big thanks to my uncle, my auntie, and my parents for making this hunt possible and coming out with me. Even though my uncle and auntie, my mom, they didn't get to witness the kill shot and all that, uh, they helped pack out and just them being there made for great memories. So I really appreciate them for being there for me. All right, so let's talk a little bit about the hunt. So on day three of our hunt, I really wanted to go out one last time, but everybody was pretty beat from day two. So they kind of just wanted to relax. But my dad, he was uh, willing to go with me. So I appreciate him for going with me. So my dad and I got out there pretty early, just in time to beat some guys that were planning to go the same way we were going. My dad and I were walking through this meadow and we have a group of hunters behind us. And while walking through the meadow, I heard a faint bugle, but I wasn't sure. So I kind of hesitated. And then uh, I finally asked my dad to stop and just to make sure so that we don't go any further and maybe spook it. I'm so glad we stopped because my ears did not lie that morning and I heard a bull bugle. So we kind of had miscommunication on where we heard it. But uh, where I was pointing to is where he was at. My dad was pointing behind us and it was kind of funny. But um, we walked the trail down and while doing some cow calls, trying to make him bugle while we move because there was still patches of snow everywhere and we were making loud noises but uh we got up to the tree line trying to stay out of the open so that he wouldn't spot us and then next thing you know there's the whole meadow was just lit up i think there was a total of three bulls and there was just cows like littered throughout the mountain you could hear him and so we're walking the tree line trying to close the distance on this bull while he's still bugling his head off so we get to this stopping point where i finally see the bull it's about 500 yards and I'm telling my dad, I'm like, I see him, I see him, I'm gonna shoot him. But in my head, it didn't click that it was like a super far shot, but I was like so confident and ready. And I had so much adrenaline rushing that I was ready to make it happen, you know? And so my dad told me, no, let's get a little closer because we still had time, it was still dark. So we closed the distance about 200 yards. So he's probably about like 300 yards from us now. So I just lined up the crosshairs right where the vitals were. And it probably took me like a good five seconds to uh, pull the trigger. And when I finally pulled the trigger, I saw him flinch like so hard. He tensed up, his body tensed up really hard. And I was trying to get back on him for a second shot. But then he had already ran past the trees that I had no shot on. But um, my dad said that he saw him struggling, climbing up the mountain. So we know that I hit him. And so I'm running down this mountain to get to him now. And full sprint, actually, like full sprint. I have so much adrenaline rushing through me now. But at the same time, my body's so tired. But I'm like running down this mountain because I'm excited. We get to this point where we pass those trees and we could see the ledge that he was standing on. So I put my scope on it, but it also looks like a fallen pine tree. So I'm like getting kind of confused. And so I'm asking my dad to take a look at it. And so he finally took a look at it and he said, got a dead bull. And right then and there, it was just history like I was just so happy and it was such a memorable experience that I will never forget if you're wondering about shot placement I shot a little bit higher than what I wanted but it did the trick I uh I got him double lunged and he didn't go no more than 40 yards and he just piled up he was he was out when we got to him so this is where you're gonna see the video start sorry we didn't get the kill shot on video but it was the last day and we were like hopeless at that point. So really do apologize for not getting the kill shot. But I do want to share this awesome little clip with you guys. I hope you guys enjoy it. And we'll see you guys on the next one. It's so early right now. Got up here. And we were planning to go on the back side of this mountain right here. And me and my dad were walking down the trail. Still dark. And I heard a bull scream. And then I wasn't sure though, so we stopped, did a couple cow calls, and then we got like this bull that uh, we were going after for initially. We bugled, and 
there was another bugle behind us, and there was uh, cow calls here and there throughout the mountain. And so we decided to come after this guy. So we just worked this tree line. The wind is super bad right now. And then we got up on the tree line, and then I saw him for the first time. It was probably like, I don't know, three, four hundred yards shot, somewhere around there. I was gonna shoot him right then and there, but my dad told me to get closer. So we got up, it was right around, I don't know, his 200 yard shot? 300. 300 yard shot? Yeah, probably. Two to three. Yeah. And he was looking right at us when we were in the tree line. So I just stopped, put the gun on him, and then he started walking again. We did coke, cal call, stopped him. And then I took my sweet time trying to line up the crosshairs. I was shaking so bad. The crosshairs were going everywhere, but I think we got him. Let's go. We got him. Got him. Oh, oh, oh. oh man, should have got the camera today. Worked so hard. Three days straight. We busted our ass off. Three days. This is a, our last day. We're planning to do a morning hunt. And go home after this. So this would have been my last day. Mm -hmm. Here to Davis. Can't seal the deal. He's a fire. Little guy. Nice. Oh. I don't care. He's a bull. They're right there in the open. Still? Mm -hmm. Are you ready? Yeah. The guy? Or the guy? Yeah, guys. Right there. Oh yeah, good job, Dom. He's nice. Yeah, I had a little far back on it. Hey, it works. He's done, dude. His tongue's already sticking out. Good job, dude. How are you? Where'd you hit him? I think you hit him. Right here, no? For him to die that fast? Maybe too high. Right here, right here. Dude, for him to die that fast, it has to be in his armpit. Yeah. <laughs> I 
Where's he's nice. Ever on the last day for home. Oh my god. We worked for this one. We worked our butts off. That's the guy that came behind us, Dom. Yeah. I'm glad we beat him. Cherish it. Huh? Cherish this moment. This is your first ever bowl. I'm so glad we got it. He's not the monster we saw the other day, but it's okay. Don't even worry about that. We got a bowl down, dude. He's he's beautiful too. Yeah. Take anything at this point. How's it called?